Hello and welcome back everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here. So Samsung has just updated the screenshot tool and I thought I'd show you a couple of new features that the new version brings. And before we begin, it goes without saying if you enjoy these kind of videos, do make sure to subscribe to the channel, I've got plenty of videos on Samsung devices. Anyways, let's start the video. Alright, so here I've got two phones, I've got the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra which is running the new updated version of the screenshot app and the Galaxy S10 Plus which is running the old version and I'll show you how to update the app because the update is also available for this phone. Now to demonstrate, let's take a screenshot on both of these phones and then I'm gonna tap on the edit button which is this one and then I'm gonna tap on the pen icon and right away you can see the difference between the two. So first off, the new screenshot tool is compatible with dark mode. Even though I've got dark mode turned on on the S10 Plus, the screenshot tool is still white. Meanwhile, this is dark, so that's nice. They've also added a new pen. So previously we had six pens, now we have seven. So the new pen is this mosaic blur pen. So if you select this, you can blur parts of your screenshots just like this. So yeah, this new mosaic blur pen is quite useful. This will let you blur out personal stuff in a screenshot. Previously, I always used to blur out using this pen, selecting the black color and doing this. So now you no longer have to do this. By the way, you can also change the size of the mosaic using these three icons. So this one will leave the smallest square size. This is medium. And finally, this one will leave the largest square size. So I think you can probably tell this is the smallest, medium and large. So yes, I think this new pen is a fantastic privacy tool if you want to blur out parts of your screenshot. Next up, they have also added the ability to save pens that you customize as a favorite. So for example, you pick a pen, change the thickness of the tip and then also select a color. After customizing, you can press the star button and that will save the pen to favorites. Now once again, you want to save the exact same pen but with a different tip so maybe you want a thinner tip and you want a different color. Again, you can customize, then hit the star button and that will again save the pen to favorites. So customize, hit the star button and that will save the pen to favorites. Now, how do you access your favorites? Well, press on this button and that will open up a page that contains all your customized pens. So this feature is awesome. You don't have to waste time customizing the pen every time you wanna write something on a screenshot. You can have your custom pens saved in the favorites right over here. I also like the way the new screenshot app previews different types of pens. So previously it used to show this N thingy and for these nib pens it used to show a single line. Now it shows you something like this. And lastly, they have also upgraded the color palette. To access the color palette, tap over here and to access the color palette on the old version, you will need to tap on this little icon. So the old version used to open up Spectrum by default. If you want to go to swatches on the old version, you need to tap over here. Now the thing that is really exciting and cool over here is that you can now type in hex code for colors. So check this out, 746AB. So that is the new color. Tap on done and that will be our new pen color. So that is really, really nice. And we also have the eyedropper tool, which we already had on the previous version. So yeah, this is the new upgraded screenshot tool on Samsung phones. Now let me show you how to update the screenshot tool on the Galaxy S10 Plus. All right, so on your phone, open up the Galaxy Store, then tap on these three lines and then tap on updates. Over here, search for Samsung Capture. You can see there is an update available for this app. Just tap on the update button and that is pretty much all there is to it. Alright, so once the update has been installed, you will get the brand new screenshot tool. So let's go into edit, tap on the pens and as you can see, we have the brand new mosaic pen over here. So check this out, we have the brand new screenshot tool on our Galaxy S10 Plus. Awesome, right? Now, unfortunately, this update is only available for newer Samsung devices that are running One UI version 3 like the Galaxy S10 Plus and newer phones like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. 
If you have an older phone like the Galaxy Note 9, well then you are out of luck. Because here's the thing, I have checked for update for Samsung Capture and there is no update available. The latest version is already installed. And if I take a screenshot, you will see that there is no new Mosaic Pen. Plus it's also not compatible with dark mode. So yeah, there is no update available for these older phones. Maybe Samsung will update in the near future, but I don't know. I don't think they will because this phone is already more than three years old. And if you are wondering, yes, the new screenshot update is also available on tablets. So this is my Galaxy Tab S5V and the new screenshot tool is also available on this. So let's tap on the pen icon and as you can see the new Mosaic Blur Pen is also available on this. So this is because this tablet is running One UI version 3. And just for confirmation, check this out. This is the Galaxy Store, latest update, and this tablet is running One UI version 3.1. So yeah, I'm guessing this update is only available for tablets and phones that are running Android 11 and One UI version 3.1 and above. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like these. And if you have enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on new content. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.